new beamlines were inaugurated at the end of 2016 at Elettra Synchrotron in Trieste, the third generation synchrotron light source in Trieste, Italy. The Express and XRD2 facilities will be used in fields ranging from the development of novel materials to pharmacology and biotechnology and will solidify the long standing scientific cooperation between India and Italy. The opening ceremony, carried out by the Italian Plenipotentiary Minister leading the Scientific and Technological Cooperation Unit, and by the Secretary of the Indian Department of Science and Technology, featured the participation of important figures from the Indian-Italian research communities. The unique role of Elettra as an international research hub was underlined by Alfonso Franzosi, President and CEO of Elettra who emphasized that the laboratory already boasts multiple beamlines born out of international cooperations. The Indian-Italian partnership at Elettra dates back 16 years, as reminded by D.D. Sarma, professor at the Indian Institute of Science, who also remarked that earlier scientific work has evolved into collaboration with a wider scope and in particular on machine developments. The Express Beamline is projected to be a high-pressure diffraction facility using X-rays of energy up to 25 keV. The main research fields targeted by Express cover condensed matter physics, material science, chemistry and geophysics, along with applications expected in the synthesis of new materials such as ceramics and alloys. The instrument features a diamond anvil cell, which creates sample environments accessible to hard X-rays under extreme pressures reaching up to 50 gigapascals. The XRD2 beamline is a high-throughput macromolecular crystallography facility designed to determine the three-dimensional structure of proteins and biological molecules. The applications span the fields of biology, medicine, pharmacology and biotechnology. Equipped with state-of-the-art instrumentation, the beamline features suitable X-ray energy up to 35 kV, automated sample mounting in cryogenic environment, and a high-speed large area detector. The high level of automation will allow remote data collection for the users.